On January 20th, the 8-2 and two Hopkinton Hillers took on Ashland at home. The Hillers, who won six of their last seven coming into the game, continued their hot streak. Cross ice, it goes to, Karpen uh, to uh, McCluskey, to Karpensky. Avoids the check, shot and a goal. Karpensky roofs it, and he gives the Hillers a 1-0 lead. And Mason to Simon shot, saving a chip in goal. Goes in, and I believe Karpensky's going to get that one also. Okay, now makes it, man, hits a shot and a save. Yeah, it was a goal. Wow. Unassisted goal by Vokey. I, I didn't see that going. I beg your pardon. 8.01 to go in the game. The Hillers leading 3 0. There's a shot. Barrow makes a save. Loose in front. Oh, Chippen tries also a save, and now it's a goal. He now back checks the play. Off the sideboard it comes. And Lason tries to chip it to himself, and he does. He's got success. He throws it in front. Oh, and a nice feed, and Simo scores. Oh, what a nice pass by Finlayson. He gave it to Simos. He was on the crease area, and he just jammed it in for the fifth goal of the night for the Hillers. Senior Will Karpensky finishes with a pair of goals as the Hillers grab their third shutout of the season, second over Ashland, 5 to nothing. The Hillers followed up with a 3-1 road win over Dover Sherborne on January 23rd. Freshman Jack Sloan had a pair of goals in the victory as the Hillers improved to 10 and 2 overall on the season, which clinches a playoff spot. Hillers boys basketball in need of a win took on Norton on Wednesday, January 20th. Connor Sarapusco buries this three to put the Hillers up 16 to 5, and then a little bit later, he hits another one to make it 26 to 9. Hillers led 26 to 11 after the first quarter. Second quarter, Nick Stanley gets in on the action as he buries a three to put the Hillers up by 21. The Hillers led 38 to 15 at the half. Norton had some threes of their own, but despite a late comeback attempt, the Hillers take the game 53 to 45. Nick Canal had a double double with 11 points and 11 rebounds. Connor Sarapusco led the way offensively with 14 points. In the following game, the Hillers had a tough battle with Dover Sherborne, who is towards the top of the TVL standings with a 9-2 record. Connor Sarapusco picks up where he left off as he buries a 3 to put the Hillers up by 4 in the second. Hillers led 19-18 at the half. Hillers leading 33-32 in the fourth quarter. Sisitsky finds Canell at the low block. Just seconds left to go, a good rebound at the block, and the and one was drawn and completed by senior Tyler Mann to send the game into overtime. In the first four minute overtime, no one scored, so they would play a second overtime. With the game still tied at 37, this layup would be all Dover Sherborne needed as they take the game 42 to 39. The Hillers followed up strong, however, as they took down Millis 57-52 and a road game to improve to 5-7 on the season. The 8-2 Hillers girls battled Millis at home. Julia Canestrari hits the three in the first quarter to put the Hillers up by four. Hillers led 12-8 after the first. Third quarter, Hillers up by four. Ivy Goglin shoots over the defender to add two. Hillers led 29-25 heading into the fourth quarter. In the fourth, good ball distribution by the Hillers as Lily Morningstar bangs a three. That put the Hillers up by 11. Millis fought back hard, but the Hillers took the game 48-45. Julia Canestrari dropped 14, while Ivy Goglin was a rebound machine as she grabbed a double-double. The Hillers improved to 9-2 on the season. 